Okay, so I just want to put these thoughts down while I'm on this drive. And one of the things that I just thought about was one of those unsung heroes of our world. And to me, I want to give my props to the bottom hole. I was just thinking about the characteristics of a bottom hole. That's an awesome woman. If you really think about it, now, this is the ideal situation, not some messed up chicanery or trickery or whatever going on. But the bottom hole was an excellent businesswoman. Now, some people might find this kind of blasphemous or whatever, but I would liken the bottom hole to the uh, street side of uh, the hustler side, the street slot side of the proverb woman. <laughs> you know, the proverb 31 woman. Anyway, ideally, the bottom hole was the one who started out with the pimp. Now, this was a business arrangement, so they didn't get confused about the business. This is ideal situation, okay? may not have always turned out this way. But she understood that her job was to help keep the girls in line, help with the money, but the pimp ran the things. She was with his ass from the beginning, and most of the time, if he was a good pimp, they, they ended up staying together afterwards or marrying each other. At the end of the day, the pimp took care of her at the end of their days or whatever. They understood that. And then also, you have to consider the bond and the shit they went through together in that life. I mean, they went through some shit. Dealing, just dealing with a whole bunch of women by themselves is some shit. Then you got people not wanting to pay. Then you got, you know, people wanting to beat up on people. A man want to beat up on women. That's the merchandise. You can't beat up on these women. Then you got to educate women on what to do with their cycles and how to live together and how to go out there and work and all of this kind of shit and how to keep it business and all of that. The bottom hole was instrumental in this shit. You ask any pimp if he had him a good bottom hole. Ask any pimp if he could have made it that far without her. That's all I'm saying. And if she's a good bottom hole, she got her a pimp who knew her value and who wasn't going to do no chicanery and, you know, trickery bullshit and all of this kind of shit. You know, people going to be people. There's going to be some shit in the mix. That's not what I'm talking about. Because, see, I'm listening. I be sitting up here listening to the new songs and all of that shit going on. I was just listening to a song talking about ride or die. Ride or die fucking scares me. I'm sorry. Because when I hear ride or die, all I hear is crash and burn. <laughs> That's all I hear is crash and burn. you going to ride or die, crash and burn, my nigga. But where the bottom hole going? The bottom hole going there to the end, nigga. It's going to be I do. Oh, am I going there? I'm sorry. I'm using the N word. Forgive me for that. You guys are seeing a little part of me that is uh, real. Uh, but, <laughs> well... <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> oh, shit. Yes. The, uh, the, I, I'm not understanding this ride or die shit. That's like that Bonnie and Clyde shit. The motherfuckers died at the end shit. And she got burnt up. Even though Bonnie was harder than him. Because I think she was really the one doing most of the killing and shit. People underestimate, un underestimate us women. But at the end of the day, like I said, I want to give my props to that bottom hole. That bottom hole, that they remember now, the ideal situation. That bottom hole had her shit together, she had her man together, and she had them girls together, and they made their money. They went through some shit together, they did all of that, but, but they stayed true to the game, and they made their money. And she did what she had to do. So go ahead, I'll be there. You will not ever see me talk about ride or die shit because I'm not trying to crash and burn. I'll be that bottom hole at the end all day, sitting up there at the end of my days with my pimp. You hear me? And we just going to be good on the money that we made off my back. <laughs> That's all right, though. That's all right. We got this going. Peace, y'all. <laughs>